yeah, my amigos. Welcome back to the channel, kids. Here we go. Practice round. Bayonet, Seaside, California, right next to Monterey. I, I will be playing this course in just a few days. So this is a practice round. The guy to my left-hand side, his name is Will. I met him that day, and he was guiding me. So he guided me with the three wood off the tee box. And he said, just go with an easy three wood so that you don't reach the bunker on the left hand side because that's reachable at 240 yards. So I did, unfortunately I hit a really bad shot. I topped my three wood and then put it to this spot. For some reason I didn't get the shot. I don't know if my battery died, but you can see I set up right there. I ended up hitting a really good shot right down the middle with my three wood again, just to put it in the middle. And then I had 110 yards in right there and I went with my 50 degree wedge and put it on the green and now I'm putting downhill. Nice downhill putt for birdie. And I missed that. And now this is for par. And that's a good start right there. Good par to start. Oh yeah. All right, hole number two. This is a really tough hole. This is the toughest hole on the course. You can see how narrow it is down there. So I just aimed at the left-hand side trees. Big drive right there. Okay, put it right in the middle, and then that left me with 186 in. You can see the uh, green slopes down, or this hole slopes all the way down, and it's still really narrow, and then I block that out to the right-hand side. Missed the green, and I had to get over this bunker with my third shot. So I used my 58-degree wedge right there just trying to get it over this bunker and I did nice and easy and then that leaves me with an easy maybe uh, about seven feet maybe nine feet for par oh yeah that's a good par right there so back to back pars to start off the practice round at bayonet let's keep going here we go this is hole number three it was playing 365 yards from the blacks Okay, so I put it uh, in a good spot right there. You know what, maybe I could clear this. So I gauged it. It was clearly enough to get over. I'm using my 54 degree wedge. I had maybe 95 in right here. I just have to get over this little branch right here. And I didn't. I hit it right into it, which is, you know, I, I hit the ball really low. Almost, I hit everything really low. And then it hit the branch and it dropped straight down. So now that leaves me with my 58 degree wedge maybe at about 70 yards and uh, I put that one on the pin so that was a good touch right there okay and now this is maybe seven feet eight feet for par and I missed that as a matter of fact I clobbered it right past it and Will told me hey man this is going towards the ocean so pay attention all right and I didn't listen to him he plays here a lot but to me, it looked like he was gonna go right to left, and it didn't. It stayed perfectly in its line. So I bogeyed that, and for the rest of the day, I listened to him. I didn't question him one time. Here we go. Hole number four, this was playing 201 yards. Take 201 yards, so I'm using my five wood right there, and I pulled it a little bit. All right, so uh, I hit it pin high, only that uh, I pulled it, and so it's off the green, and now I'm using my 58 degree wedge. I just used a bump and run right there. Hit a good shot, and got that to stop right on the pin. That was a really good touch. I'm happy with that, and that'll leave me an easy, maybe, I don't know, what do you say, about two, two and a half feet for par. Here we go. Okay, so that's uh, a par, and I'm still one over. All 
Nice job of getting up and down right there. All right, here we go. This is a tight hole, real twite, tight squeeze right here. Uh, the hole was playing 327 yards. All right, so I'm using my driver. I'm just trying to hit it really low to keep it in the fairway. And I did, I hit it really low, just a low bullet shot. Okay, kept it in the middle. And then that left me with 83 yards in right here, 83. And I'm using my 54 degree wedge. I'm just trying to hit a little knockdown, one bounce stop shot. And it hit the side of the bunker and then bled out. Which is still okay. I mean, I'm still on the green. Leaves me a big right to lefter for birdie. Okay, and I just missed to the low side. Nice, easy tap in par right there. So that's nice. Still one over, not bad, not bad. Managing the course pretty well. Oh yeah. Hole number six. This was playing from the blacks, three, 221 yards. So I went with my five iron. Okay, five iron downhill just a little bit and wind right behind me. And I put it onto the green, hit a good shot. Uh, only that I have this long, maybe about 45 foot putt right here. It's gonna go left to right. Will guided me on this shot right here. Okay, so here we go. All right, good read given to me by my playing partner, only that I came up a little bit short and then that left me with maybe about a five, six footer right here for par. And that was high side, didn't turn, so I missed that. All right, two over, that's a three putt, no bueno. Let's keep going, I'm two over my friends. Here we go. This was hole number seven. It was playing 392 yards from the black. Okay, so I hit a good shot, but it bled a little bit too much to the right-hand side, and then, it, uh, cause it was a big fade. Shouldn't have used my driver right there. But uh, I hit it to the right-hand side, put it right here. Okay, and now I'm just trying to get, uh, get it back onto the playing area. Okay, put it back on the fairway and I missed the fairway. It didn't fade and it ended up going into the bunker. And these bunkers don't have any sand. It's all dirt. This is the first bunker that I played out of and Will told me, hey man, there's no sand here. So you're gonna have to um, really hit a good shot. Okay, and I ended up going long. A little bit weird that there's no sand in these bunkers considering we're only like 15, steps away from the ocean but um, I didn't I hit it too long okay hit it too long and then right there I was putting for par and I missed that and now this is for bogey and that was high side also it just didn't turn so that was bad 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 that's a double ouch that puts me at four over no bueno. Here we go, par five, all right? Par five, hole number eight. Uh, it was playing 593 yards. So this is a tough par five, it's downhill. I put a big fade on it, hit it over to the right-hand side. Okay, and this is in a playable spot, so it's not too tough. And then I hit that one, um, Pretty good, only that it didn't fade. It, straight, it stayed perfectly on its line, and you can see they're building homes right here behind us. So uh, that left me with 110 in. I used my 50 degree wedge to put it back onto the green, and I did. That's a good shot right there. Left it just short of the green, maybe about 12 feet, 15 feet for birdie. And I missed that. That would have been a good birdie too. So that's no bueno, my amigos. That's a, a par. Nice par right there. Pretty good par, still four over. Hole number nine, okay? 
Uh, it was playing 449 yards. It's a dog leg right, and it, the second shot is straight uphill. You're gonna see this right now. Okay, straight uphill. So um, I had 192 in, okay? Yeah, I should've went with my, because it's straight uphill, I should've went with my five wood. Uh, instead, I went with my five iron. I ended up leaving it well short and I blocked it a little bit. So now I have to get up and down from this spot right here. Okay, and so I hit a little bump and run with my 58 degree wedge. Uh, got it to roll past the pin. And now I'm putting for par. And I just lived out. That would have been a good par. Yeah, guys, this is tough. This course is tough. I was five over in the front. This is a bayonet. This is a practice round. Okay, this is hole number 10. Hole number 10. He was playing 517 yards. It's a par five. Uh, I let it bleed out to the right hand side just a little bit, but I have this perfect window to hit it through right here with my five iron. Yeah Okay, so I just close the face on my five iron right there and then punch it through so that way it um, Draws for me because I don't hit a draw and then that left me with 87 in I went with my 54 degree wedge. I just went with a little one bounce stop shot with my 54 degree wedge Try to hit it short get it to stop and it stopped a little bit shorter than I wanted But it's an uphill putt in a perfect spot for birdie Oh Just missed it will made his birdie right there uh, he was trying to give me the line right there. He was telling me go up just a little bit higher because it goes towards the ocean and he was a hundred percent right. So, uh, okay. That's a par. Here we go. Let's keep going. This is hole 11. It was playing 387 yards, 387. This hole's got a lot of character to it. It's really nice. It's a downhill dog leg left. Okay. So I went after that. I was really comfortable with my driver. Hit a good shot. Missed the fairway by just a little bit. I didn't get my shot, my second shot. I was changing my batteries and uh, there was a group behind us. There was a twosome behind us. So I quickly just got to my shot and then hit it. Put it on the green on my second shot and then that left me an uphill putt. Maybe about 22 feet for par. Hit a good shot, it turned to the left, and now this is, I mean, that was for birdie, and now this is for par right here, and that's a nice par. Nice job, all right, par, par to start the back nine. Let's keep going, my amigos. Here we go, this is hole 12. It's an uphill, long uphill shot, okay? It was playing 378 yards on this day, so you've gotta hit it over this bunker here, the trees to the left kind of blocked me out, so I didn't want to hit it into them. Okay, and unfortunately I put myself in kind of a funky spot here. I have this tree right here. I have to fade it around this tree to get to the pin. Okay, and I have to hit it over in a bad lie, so I ended up hooking it. Uh, or it just didn't fade the way I wanted it to and so it left me to the left hand side of the uh, green And I'm just trying to bump and run right here with a 54 degree wedge That's not a bad job right there. It's just that the green is so funky right there such a difficult lie That it kicked forward and that leaves me with this 18 maybe 22 footer for par And it didn't turn not a bad read uh, but just not a good uh, execution right there. So that's a bogey. All right, that's a bogey. Let's keep going, my amigos. Oh, yeah. Here we go. This is hole number 13. This is a tough, tough hole. It's uh, narrow right down the fairway, and then there's a bunker to the right, bunker to the left. You've got to get over a hill. 
Okay, and then uh, if you don't hit it right in the middle, you can see how elevated this is right here. And the fairway is down quite a bit or the hole is way downhill. Okay, so I hit my five iron right there and I just punched it to get it to roll down the middle. I came up a little bit short of the green and now I'm putting upwards, which is a funky putt also. Such a fun hole. Okay, and I stabbed that. <laughs> Just not a very good putt. My lie was so bad. Uh, yeah, and my stance was really bad. It was just not a good setup no matter what. I couldn't chip it because I didn't want to stab it into the ground. So here we go for par. Oh yeah, that just caught the, the ball actually. I mean, I just had the, the cup just happened to be there. All right, here we go. Let's keep going, mommy goes. This is a par three, hole 14. It was playing 190 yards on this day. I went with my six iron. Wind was behind me, so I ended up clobbering it, hitting it past the green, past the uh, flag. And now I'm using my 58 degree wedge to just come back. A little bump and run, get it to roll onto the green, and then get it to roll forward. Okay, and that's a pretty good execution right there. Pretty good, mommy goes, oh yeah. And this is maybe three feet, two and a half feet for par. That's a good par right there. Very nice, mommy goes. Good conversion. Uh, going just a little bit long All right, so still one over one over doing pretty good a lot of people said this course was tough I didn't think it was very tough at this point in the round Because I was kind of hitting the ball pretty good and then making some long par saves here We go. This is hole 15. It was playing 370 yards on this day Okay, so I hit it right in the middle and then it faded just a little bit to the right hand side that's where will told me to play it so that i wouldn't block myself out on the second shot you can see these trees to the left hand side uh, protecting the the green and then i just used a nine iron i had 137 in so i just wanted to use a one bounce stop shot right hit it really low and then um put weight on my left hand side get it to bounce once and then stop on the pin it came up significantly short and so i have this maybe 35 footer right here for birdie it's gonna turn to the left hand side towards us and i never got it there i i just didn't know how to read that green didn't do a very good job of that so i came up uh significantly short put myself in a dicey situation here we go now i have uh probably about six feet for par and I came up short, right at the doorstep of the hole. Yeah, that's a mistake. What a boneheaded mistake. That was pretty easy. Didn't do much wrong, but just didn't hit it well enough. Here we go, let's continue. Hole 16, 393 yards. This is a dogleg right, pretty easy. I was just gonna hit it to the left-hand side, get it to fade a little bit, put it right in the middle. Nice job of doing that. And then I have my nine iron right here for 142 yards in, and I'm just doing a one bounce stop shot. Look how low I hit that right there. I've been doing a lot of this shot lately because it's so consistent, so consistent. You just hit it really low, play like a little draw or a little release, right? Hit it really low, get it to bounce just short of the pin, and then it'll stop with enough check. And I did hit a really good shot, and now this is about four and a half feet for birdie. Let's convert. Oh yeah, my amigos. That's a good birdie right there. They're really nice. Let's keep going. This is hole 17. It was playing 220 yards on this day, but because it was downhill, okay, I clubbed down. I didn't use my five wood, which is what I should have used. Okay, and because of the wind going in our direction, it actually doesn't play any differently from what the uh, scorecard says. So if it says 200 yards, play it 200 yards, even though it is downhill. So I put it into this bunker, hit it significantly short, and now I have probably about 70, no, about 45 yards right here to the pin. Okay, I used my uh, 54 to get out. It wasn't enough 
hit it significantly short. And then this um, shot right here is aiming towards the ocean. So anytime you go towards the ocean, according to Will, you always have to hit it a little bit less because it will roll towards the ocean. And sure enough, it did. I mean, it went long, 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 probably about 20, 25 feet past the pin. And now I'm just trying to hit past right here for bogey and I missed that. So that is a double. Not good. Not good at all, mamigos. All right, three over on this side. After a birdie, I go to bogey. Terrible. So this is hole 18. It's a par five. It's playing 530 yards. I'm just trying to hit a low bullet. A low bullet, but I blocked it a little bit. Ended up hitting it to the right-hand side. There's a lot of space to the right-hand side. My shot is gonna be end up. Uh, it's gonna end up being into the jungle, but I'm I'm going to have a nice shot towards the pin. So that was a good thing. Only that I shouldn't have missed in that spot. Okay, so that left me with 247 in right here. I went with my three wood. You can see I got a nice little window towards the green, but the green is above us significantly and it, this is towards the ocean so the wind is blowing in my face i hit a great shot right there got it to go over these trees right here just hit a beauty of a shot and then i put it right uh just right hand side of the green but in an okay spot that's gonna leave me with an uphill shot with my 58 degree wedge right here check this out Okay, so uh, now I have maybe about 40 yards right here, maybe 35 yards. I'm just using my 58 degree wedge, trying to hit a flopper, right? Nice and easy. I, it, it flopped a little bit to the right, which was well, not terrible, but it's not gonna leave me an easy birdie opportunity. So I'm three over, I was five over in the front. I'm eight over total. Eight over is not very good, right? The projected cut for the tournament was going to be about eight to nine. So that means that if there's two rounds, I would have to shoot even on the other side, on the other round, right? And so that leaves me with a be easy birdie opportunity right here, but I didn't hit it very well. Uh, put it to about five feet, that wasn't good at all. And this is for par. <laughs> All right, and that's a par. I just wanna say thank you to my playing partner on this day, his name was Will. Uh, he wasn't going to play with me. He was actually going to play Black Horse Golf Course, which is right next to it. This uh, Black Horse is adjacent to um, Bayonet. And I went and asked him, hey dude, do you know the course? Can you help guide me throughout this day? And he said yes. And uh, ended up turning out to be a really cool dude. We got along really well the entire day, had a great time. Uh, uh, so yeah, shout out to Will. I just wanna say thank you. And that was a good practice round. Stay tuned, cause I got tons of content coming up. Lots more competition. I've already signed up for two more tournaments coming up very soon. So uh, stay tuned, my amigos. Tons of stuff coming up.